What's going on guys, this is Gamir, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to implement a auto DJ nightbot sort of thing onto your stream. So uh, people who are watching your stream be able to type in a command and be able to listen to their own music and request songs to be played throughout the stream. Uh, so yeah, so let's just quickly get into how to do it. So firstly, um, you will not be able to do this on the inbuilt streaming system on PS4 and Xbox One because they can't really connect to your uh, PC. And that is where the stream bot will be on. It'll be going playing through your PC and go through your OBS or your XSplit or whatever uh, streaming device you have. So yeah, so um, that's just one thing that I want to get out of the way. So uh, let's just get straight on how to do it. So what you need to do is actually come to this website called beta.mitebot.tv and then if you want to just log in and then you'll come up with two options Twitch or YouTube but um, for, for some reason it just slightly straight into Twitch but that's right so it, it might say sign in so you type in your username and your password and after that it'll probably say authorize so you just click authorize and you've got uh, so now it comes to this page so now you have to go to the sidebar and click song request and then go to auto DJ and as you can see here, you've got your music playing here. I'm going to pause it quickly. So yes, yeah, so what we're going to do is actually go to settings. And now your user level, that's people who can request a song. I'm going to set it to everyone because I want everyone to request the song, so it's fair. And then you've got the playlist. So now you can actually have certain playlists. So let's say uh, no one's requesting any songs. And you want uh, to have music still playing in the background. It'll go through this playlist and just start playing the songs that you put in the playlist. So yeah, so I'll go to that monster cat and then search provider. So that's where people can actually search for their songs. So you can have YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify. But I'm gonna go YouTube because pretty much every song is on YouTube. So you've got these limits here, queue length. So this is the amount of songs that are allowed in a single queue. So let's say. Uh, 20 people here puts in a uh, request a song no more people will be able to request a song until a song is played and then there'll be a spot open for 19 and that's all it is so I'm going to leave it at 20 because that's a, in my opinion that's a good amount of songs and no one's going to complain at that amount so limit to playlist I'm going to keep that no so because let's say your playlist they're allowed to limit the, the songs that are in the playlist and I'm going to say no to that because not everyone uh, will have your playlist and sometimes your playlist might not be as good as what they what they want to listen to the next one is user limit so that is two songs at the moment so uh two songs so they can only request two songs in a queue at one time so uh this is the one where it's the highest so uh, everyone underneath it would be able to have it but i'm gonna have to keep it on everyone so everyone is fair and then to youtube this is the last one limit to music so only music uh approved uh videos are allowed on youtube and that I'd be requesting, and also limits likes to uh, likes to dislikes. So make sure there's more likes on a video to dislikes. So there's no trolling whatsoever in your uh, stream. However, there is a problem because the new Justin Bieber song I think they had it had more dislikes, but anyway, it's Justin Bieber. Who okay, cares? So let's click on submit. So now what you need to do is head, head over to docs.mikebot.tv slash app beta. All these links will be in the description below. So you don't have to copy this if you don't want. And there'll be two links, uh, Windows and uh, Mac. So I'm going to click on Windows and it, what I'm going to do, I'm going to download it. And then it will take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait till that's finished and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, once it's done downloading, what you need to do is just double click it or just click it once. And it should just open up like so. And I'm sorry, I just opened up on my other monitor. And then what you need to do is press next. And then you need to accept the terms of service and then press next. And then just where you want to find it, just press next. Okay, so then next, and then, yep, next, and then install. So now it's installing onto your computer. Shouldn't take too long, unless you've had a fail like mine, because it's already been downloaded before, but oh well. So then, now what you need to do, oh god, now it's now opening it up, and there it is. And now what I'm gonna do for this uh, tutorial, I'm just gonna stick with uh, Twitch, so I'm gonna log into Twitch. So you can see I'm now logged in. So now what you need to do again is just go to song requests and everything like that. Make sure everything's up to date. The settings, make sure everything's the same as you did. Yep, everything's okay. So now what you can do now is actually set up your playlist by going to uh, 
request song you can request your song yourself if you want by like putting the url in or go to playlist icon on the side and creating your own playlist so let's say you want to have the song the name of the song on your screen so right now i've got obs open right now and this is the thing that i'm recording but what you can do is go to uh, sources and then press plus then you go to text and you can name it whatever you want but i'm just gonna press ok so then what you need to do is press move from file and then browse and then what you need to do is go to your documents but for some reason my documents is in my account for some random reason go all the way down here and then go to nightbot and then press current song and then if you want to press ok so as you can see here you've got the current song here the fat rat and then that massive word and request by visual gamers so that's the request and a lot of people these days they want their thing to be scroll so it just scrolls across and makes slightly smaller so what you need to do is right click and then press filters add a filter and then you go to scroll and then press ok for scroll and let's go horizontal speed crazy as hell and that's that's just crazy let's just keep it exactly the same yeah let's just keep it at that that's way too crazy so yeah you can change the speed you make it go the other way i don't know up to you literally up to you but that's how you make the scroll it's absolutely brilliant makes it a lot easier that's probably way too quick still but oh well you put that anywhere you put the background anywhere up to you so that is actually how you add the auto dj so let's say you, you're streaming and you want the music to be played you just need to have it open up and what will happen is just start playing and then pick up your desktop audio and that will be playing and then you just change the volume of the audio so yeah, that's how you actually add auto dj to your stream so on the screen right now you'll see some other videos that i did on how to set up your stream so if you want to click onto any of those and yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos like this one in the future please subscribe and yeah i'm out peace